Um, today's video is going to be on winged eyeliner. I am going to explain how I do eyeliner now um, and products I use and stuff like that. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching and I'll get straight on to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, products and what products you can use and stuff like that. Um, first product you can use, you can use gel eyeliner. Gel eyeliner is very popular with makeup artists because um, it's very good for hygiene if you oh, if you get a <laughs> if you get a spatula you can put it into your palette and then dip your brush into it and use it that way. It's also very very black but I find gel eyeliner is really good for people who know what they're doing or makeup artists but gel eyeliner is very unforgiving. Like if you make a mistake with gel eyeliner it's very hard to remove it and stuff like that. So I would just recommend this for professionals and people who know what they're doing. I think it's great for beginners. That's just my own personal preference. Obviously some people might think it is but the next product I'm going to talk about is liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner isn't great for hygiene purposes. As a makeup artist you would have to put it out into a palette and then get a different brush and use it with that. Liquid eyeliner works really well for covering eyelash, fake eyelash bands. Liquid eyeliner is probably my favourite. Um, I don't know why, it's just really handy, it's really fluid, sharp, clean. Gel always seems to dry out before you use the whole thing, whereas with um, liquid eyeliner I usually get the use of the whole pot, which is good because you don't want to be wasting half the product. Then there is, um, I don't even know what to call these, but do they call them eyeliner pens or markers or something like that? has really nice felt on it and it is by collection. This is really really good for beginners because I feel like you have a lot of control over what you're doing. It's forgiven. It's not as black as liquid or gel but it is very handy um, to have in your makeup bag and I would use this quite a lot. It's not very hygienic though for makeup artists so that is the downside also. If it has a really weird tip on it, it will be hard to create eyeliner with. So just make sure it has a nice um, tip on it and it's not too thick because you can get really thick ones too to do a big thick wing. And then the last way is I would use black eyeshadow and dot my brush with I use Smashbox primer water or you can just use a spray bottle with water on it or just dampen your brush with water. Um, then I dip my brush into black eyeshadow and I put it on that way. It's not you're not going to get the same darkness as you would with gel, liquid or anything Thing like that but it is very forgiving like if you make a mistake you can clean it off no bother at all um it's also not as dramatic so it's nice for daytime wear um, most people have black eyeshadow so it's also handy because it's something you probably already have and you don't have to go out and buy new things so i'm going to show you today how to um do winged eyeliner with a damp brush and black eyeshadow but the same technique works on all the rest of the products basically um so yeah i'll get started okay so i'm going to oh my god my hair <laughs> oh what is it right i'm gonna spray my brush it's actually the brush i'm using focus right the brush i'm using is from poundland and it is a nail brush um I got a set of them and they're the best things I've ever bought, like I would buy 10 sets of them because it's so handy for um, winged eyeliner because the brushes are nice and small. And I'm just dotting my brush, dipping it into the black eyeshadow and I start off by creating a wing first um, and I just go to the very corner of my eye, just here where your bottom lash line means uh, make sure top one just like the very very corner and I just draw a line out um, you can do this um, as thick as is then um, you can do this eyeliner look as thick as you want or like the wing as long as you want it's just up to you I have something back in my head um, so I'm just drawing like a straight line out from that point not really angling it too much. I'm kind of just, I just want to like elongate, elongate. I just want to elongate my eyes so I'm not um, angling it too much. And then I'm just making it thicker. 
So I'm going to the tip and dragging it down. Um, don't really worry about the wing not being like perfect at the bottom or anything like that if it's any if it's bumpy or anything down here because you can't tidy that up after. So that is basically the wing done. The wing part done. I'm not doing it to winged out or nothing and it is pretty thin. Uh, now I'm going to go, the second thing I do is I go into the inner part of the eye and I'm just going to start in the inner just going to start following in the inner part um, using small brush strokes Now I'm just going to join the outer part with the inner part and I just fill that in using small brush strokes. You don't have to do a big, like when you're doing your eyeliner, don't think that you have to just start here and just go like no one really gets that first time. It's far too hard. So. That is that. I'm just going to go on and do the other eyelid now, the exact same technique, starting with the outer corner again, at the very corner. Um, keep your eyes open when you're doing your eyeliner because if you have it closed, you're just, you don't know what it's going to look like when your eye opens and you could end up with your wing being in the crease of your eye, um, so it looks broken up then, whereas when you have your eyes open, um, you can see what it's going to look like at the end. Um, don't want any surprises when you open your eyes. With both um, wings are at the same angle. You want them to lift your eyelids a bit, but you don't want a really, really big arch. So just keep it slightly slanted, aiming for the end of your eyebrow. And then I'm going to go to the inner part. little bit thicker at the end so I'm just going to sharpen that up with concealer just go underneath that wing just going to give you a few tips now um, first is I start at the outer corner get the angle then I do the inner part and I do that with small brush strokes um, and then I go into the third part which is fall in the middle joining the wing to the inner part if you're finding it really difficult to get like a really sharp wing, you can use sellotape. Just make sure that both um, angles are the same. Put concealer under your wing and that will sharpen it up also. That's what I did. I also have a really firm grip on the brush when I'm doing it. I usually hold the brush around here. Um, you can lean your elbow on the table and then lean your um, baby finger on your cheek and that might help you steady your hand a bit. Like I have a lot of practice so that's the only reason I can do it without the table. Everyone always wants to do winged eyeliner on a day where they're like really really stuck for time so I really wouldn't recommend that because you know that quote um, winged eyeliner can sense your fear whatever it literally can so try not to do it when you're like panicking or in a rush and stay cool calm and collected it's only makeup at the end of the day, so if you do make a mistake, you can remove it. Cotton earbuds are probably the best for winged eyeliner with a little bit of micellar water. 